There's no fist fighting. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's just out here. Yeah, not, not on the program. <laughs> yeah, we're mellow here. We're not fist fighting here. Yeah, I actually, well, yeah. I guess I can, I'll probably say this in the course. I actually did get into a, a fist fight that was semi joking a couple days ago. Cool. Oh. And now I'm kind of sore from it, actually. Oh, you, but it was, it was a joke that turned real? Well, sort of, I was just really drunk, and people were, like, coming at me, and then I was just, like, taking it a little bit too seriously. <sighs> but it was, it's whatever. No one was really hurt. It was still just, like... Do you so, know the people that you were kind of... Yeah, I mean, they were my friends. Ooh. But no one seemed really broken up about it. But they got, uh, you got a little bit mad, and for real? I kind of just like people were coming at me, and I just like got into it. Uh huh. But they definitely like punched me they back. Punched you in also. the face? No, no, just uh. just body. Okay, we used to it. Yeah. Well, body no, but I, 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 I body definitely moving. punched. I body definitely moving. punched them worse than they punched me. I think. Oh uh, yeah. Do you have any uh, bruising? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I do, kind of like on my side. You haven't looked. But no, I haven't looked. Was that yesterday? Uh, it was the day before yesterday. And it still hurts? Yeah, kind of, but it's, it's all right. Also, I mean, I was also doing a lot of other crazy things. I puked in my backyard, uh-huh. and, but then the next day I, I sprayed it with a hose that so went to the tall grass. Um, so maybe your body hurts from just, like, abuse? Yeah, abusing I was just, like, running that. around and shit. Uh-huh. Uh, at one point, I remember everyone was upstairs, and I was on the extra mattress uh-huh. uh, in my basement, and I was just, like, screaming as loud as I could just because I thought it would be funny for some reason. <laughs> but I think it just kind of annoyed everyone. And I was like throwing beer cans. But it was all, you know, it was like, I was just going along with what was already happening. Oh, yeah. Like maybe just going a little bit in a different direction. You've been getting rowdy since you uh, have been free from work. Yeah, I job, don't, huh? don't have a job. I don't have anything to keep me in check. So, yeah, I guess so. Being rowdy, that's fun. Maybe we had... Well, Bird, Bird's over there. He says he wants to get people from upstairs. He's moving the camera. M- maybe we should... Whoa. No, that's bright. Well, yeah, turn that off, Bird. That's too bright. Right in our eyes. Right in our eyes. Right in our eyes. There it yeah. goes. Give me, the, give me the floater thingy. We have. But also, well, yeah. Maybe we should have a, a, a stream challenge here on the program. A scream challenge? Oh, I don't yeah. want to do I that. Don't, I don't. I don't know if the people who live here would really <laughs> like that that much. They're, well, they're having a rock man up to us, but uh, yeah, it's a, it seems like the rock man is over though. Well, be a- Why well, might be one more rock band? Okay, well, if there's a rock band, then I'll try to scream over them. I guess. I mean, it's not gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be up to us. I don't want to um, get too much screaming. It's gonna be. Yeah. You know. Oh, you, oh, it won't sound good. All you have to say is, Carl, that's not very peaceful to be screaming. Have uh, a, sc- I think a scream like race or a scream challenge or. You know, I guess it's not peaceful. Who can scream more? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, there's such a peace. thing as scream therapy. Yeah, that depends, the on, depends on. Do you mean like peace and quiet or like peace on earth? Because I think as far as peace on earth going, is screaming is fine, but maybe peace and quiet is not so much. Yeah, could make you hoarse, though. Yeah won't be able to talk, and then what will you do on the program? Yeah. Oh, no! Oh! Yeah, don't yell too much. Don't lose your voice. Watch out. He's whining about something. You guys, uh, see, you see anything on the streets in the last week here? Lewis? Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. I talked to you uh, when I was on the street yesterday because I was in front of the reef. Mm-hmm. Remember I told you about this guy who was drinking coffee. I think he works at the reef. He had duct tape like, on his wrist. That, yeah, but it's like a roll of duct tape. He's wearing it like a bracelet. Oh, it was a whole roll. Yeah. I was questioning yesterday. I was like, did he tape it directly to his wrist, or did he? I thought he had built maybe built a bracelet out of duct tape, but he was wearing the whole roll. 
Yeah. Oh, also on the drive over here, I saw uh, Dan Bennett and Luke Turner uh, by the bus station. I oh, I know. saw them there also, actually. Huh. I don't know what they were doing. They were going to the, uh, what is the event called at the golf bar? Oh, Dark Disco. Yes. Oh, that's, huh. There, oh, yeah, I have happening. seen Dan there, like, a couple times. He likes to go to it. You can go to that, too. It's going to be tonight if you want to go after this. Yep. He's going to go, um... I wonder, do you think that guy was, was keeping that duct tape on his... What? Oh, was that, was a weird noise. Oh, oh there, it's the rock oh, band. Rock I think maybe the rock, rock band is right there. Rock and roll. Oh, no! Are you sure? No. I thought it would be more over there wow. here by the window. I'm just guessing. But, uh, so it's probably actually like more like right there above the other room. Hey, this is going to be a challenge in... in Training and contentment and, and patience and yeah. whatnot. Or vocal exercise. I'm not going to hear it. Yeah, vocal! Who can talk the loudest? No, I'm just kidding. Um, you think that guy was carrying his, his duct tape for fashion or for utility? I think it was for utility. I'm pretty sure he worked at the Reed. Uh -huh. I just kind of was describing him and I'm like, oh wait, I'm talking about this person <laughs> like a few <laughs> feet away from me and they can definitely hear me. And then I said that too. <laughs> Did he look? <laughs> I don't even know. I wasn't, I wasn't looking at him. But that, that's a pretty funny thing. You should get, get on the phone and just walk around and start describing people while you walk around. Yeah. This guy, he's doing this stuff, and then uh, they say, like, are they going to say something to you, or they're just going to... Yeah. Oh, another thing I did this week, I dubbed all the Greek left tips, and then oh, yeah? I made a flyer and put them up today. So Ooh. I, I put Hot Rush on the flyer. I don't oh, know. Oh, good. That's, I think that's probably fine. Okay. Also, well, do you... Do you do you work on Thursdays? Do I? Uh, yes, but I, I get off in time. What? Okay. Cool. So this is the, uh, did you release all of your tapes then, or just? Uh, yeah, it's all the Greek Life recordings that exist up to this point. But we're performing again at the tape release. It will be automatically obsolete. But how, how it's, many? It's it's seven cassettes. And and how many copies are there of the seven? Uh, there's one master copy, and then there's 19 copies that are going to be for sale. 19 copies of sets of seven? Yeah. Whoa, it's a box set. Yep. That's pretty good. Do you know how, how long all those boxes, how long the box set is? Uh, not exactly, because, I mean, the tapes are like 24 minutes aside, but I think they're not all, barely any of them are all the way full, so I don't know exactly how long it is, but we have to do the finishing touches with the inserts and everything in tomorrow, but... Do you have cases? Yeah, well, we have enough cases for 12 of the sets, and we printed a bunch of photos. They're just like photos of me in different outfits, and the, the different tape covers, but they're like, kind of like themed. Like there's like a cowboy, like army, jock, other ones. I see, okay. Yeah, but you can, well, yeah, they'll be at the show. It's on Thursday at my house. This is too late for the viewers. Well, it's last Thursday for the viewers, yeah. Yep. Is that the 6th? The 6th, yep. Okay. Well, uh, we got some a voicemail. It's, the only one we got is from Bird. Oh. He was just here. He's probably going to say something about this rock band that's happening upstairs right now. No, oh, I think I just heard his voice a little bit. Well, yeah. Here it is. It's the only message we got today. Oh, hey, Bird, we're about to listen to your message. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's actually playing. You need to turn it up or something. Oh, it's not actually plugged in. Oh, Bert? It, oh, this is a personal message? Program message? Is it a program message or a personal message? Hello? Hey, it's going to be a big party at the house tonight. Hope you can make it. Bye. Uh, I think you, that was maybe a personal message. So that's all the messages we got today. Huh. We're, yeah, you can come over here. Oh, wait, are you logged into the program phone or the, the other one? That was the program number, but Bird probably called the wrong number, possibly, I guess. Oh. We got somebody new from the upstairs thing. Hi. Hi. Have you ever been on TV before? Never have I ever. Never not on news even? Maybe in the background of the news or something? 
I don't believe so. <laughs> this is a TV show. It's true. Hey, it's time for the dice game. What happens here? We're going to get out a pen. We're going to write a number on our hands between one and six. We're going to try to visualize some dice. We're going to roll one dice and then two dice and then three dice. We're going to try to see the future in our minds here. So think real hard. Visualize the future and write your number on your hand here. Whatever number you think is going to get the most rolls. Here, as you can play at home, get a pen out. We're rolling we a total of six dice, but by six in total. Yeah, but one, pick a number one through two, six, and then three dice at the yeah, end. Yeah, so end if of the your program. number comes up the most, then you win. Okay, have you have you seen anything on the streets lately? Or do you have your mic or what up? Or do you get back to call? Oh. Like any uh, ac accidents or like people falling down or maybe uh, flowers? Oh, yeah, no, I saw the police I yesterday. Did Day, What's that? Was a cat across the street was so persistent it kept nudging <laughs> its head into me. Oh, oh. <laughs> For like, like maybe upwards of 20 minutes, I was uh, just sitting there and the cat just did this over and over. And you, you let it—you let it happen? Yeah, I was on the phone with my friend. That's nice. So did you? Are you seeing that cat before? Never have I ever. It's up to you, but you can do whatever you want. I might tag team out. You want to go see this band upstairs? Are you here to see the band? Sarah's staying here. Sarah's staying here. Here we go. It's a four. I won. I won also. No. Yeah. Yeah, team four. Me and Liz uh, on four. Wait. Did you? Oh, Bird didn't have a number. So you can see it. Probably gets a three. Oh, there it is. There it is. What do you get, Carl? Um, something else. Something else? How about you? Can I wait? Yeah, you can wait. We we have the next uh, desk game. not going to be for another 20 minutes, though, so. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Whoa, Charlie. Whoa, it knocked, he knocked off a drink, but it landed on its, on its uh, up. He knocked it over, but it landed straight up on the right spot. Boom. Yeah. Magic dog. You see uh, anything on the news? Is there any new news going on? I'm a little bit ill-informed at this particular moment. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, I guess Oklahoma stuff is happening in Oklahoma and in Turkey. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about yeah, that stuff like at all? Like the uprising in Turkey or something. Yeah. No. I guess there's some kind of uprising. I'm not really sure. I haven't I really heard anything about it since yesterday on the program, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, did you guys already talk about the, the guy who got beheaded in England? No, what? Yeah, no, this is no. like... Ooh. It's news. What happened, yeah? Okay, what, what happened? Oh, so, uh, somebody kind of... I don't really know that many of the details. I probably shouldn't even brought it up. But, yeah, some guy... Oh, not. No, 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 it's definitely a news story. A civilian cut off another civilian's head. Uh huh. And it, I think in public. Whoa. Whoa. So it wasn't. It wasn't like a. I mean, I don't think they even. If you're executing someone, you would cut off their head anymore. So. That's really kind of. Or, or if or if like, <laughs> even has capital punishment, which I don't. Keep your smile. I think like in Europe they don't get rid of that. How did they do so. that? That's uh. That takes some force. Yeah, I think it just uh, like a sword, maybe, or, or I think whatnot. it was an axe, probably. Wow. But yeah, that was a new story. That's freaky. Yeah, well, it's like, remember like a couple of years ago when the guy got his head cut off on the Greyhound in Canada? Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, it's. I think it's maybe similar to that. It. It's probably someone who is mentally unsound. Oh, uh, I think so. Anybody who would do that kind of thing. Hey, can you close that door right there, too, while you're up? Um, because Car Charlie can try to nudge it up. Oh. That, oh. Hey, that one, too, yeah. It is. It is all. Hmm. There's two doorknob holder things. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Well, one of them, that, that one doesn't have the hardware on it, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it's just a, well, maybe it does. It just looks like it's a hole. That's weird. There's, yep. like, a second <laughs> door stopper thingy hole. Uh, oh, well that's... Yeah, it's weird. Well, don't worry about it. Hey, Carla, thanks. Um, I wonder what... So we don't know about this beheading and why why they were beheaded or what they yeah. came with or where in England um, and stuff? Uh, no. No, but it, it happened, like, in the last week. 
Mm -hmm. think. But yeah, there's also like uh, Revolt and... Turkey or... Turkey, yeah. yeah. You know, people are crazy with their violence and whatnot. Did you hear any more details about Turkey Cod and... Uh, I, I got a little bit more understanding that they're protesting some sort of park. Um, people were protesting, uh, you know, trying to save the park from being demolished, you know, like uh, bulldozed and whatnot. And um, uh, I, I guess there were like two fatalities or whatever by people using water cannons and tear gas and they, they got killed by water cannons? yeah and tear gas and whatnot you know like accidents happen you wow. know and trying to uh like disperse the uh people and so then um uh the people just got like a little bit angrier and just like you, you know once uh you, you try to uh, get people to, uh, uh, you know, disturb, disperse the, the crowd, and it's not successful. The crowd gets larger, if that makes sense. Yeah. So. Wild. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it is wild. So, like, uh, I don't know if I sh shared this with you um, yesterday, but there, uh, like, uh, 40,000 people were, like, crossing a certain bridge. Yeah, I heard about that, 40,000 people. It's about the, the size of Thurston County, I think, maybe. Mm. That's just a, like, a guess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, Oklahoma, there's a bunch of tornadoes. Uh, have, you, have you guys witnessed any natural disasters in the past? Uh, oh, I, I actually, on, on this point, uh, someone actually uh, tried to save their life by climbing in the manhole, I believe. Mm -hmm. And, and like, he, like, threw down the ladder and climbed in the manhole and used, the, you know, the manhole, like, cover to kind of cover himself up. And then, I guess, walked a little bit down this sewer or whatever. And it's kind of crazy. I, I guess the, the links that you need to go through in order to save your life. It saved him though? He did, he just survived? Because of well, the, 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 apparently it did. If uh, we're, you know... Oh, if, if, tell, yeah, you had to tell somebody about it, huh? If we're talking about it as a news story, but, you know, I, I guess it, it saved his life, you know. It could just be like, man found dead in the sewer. Yeah, which is, you, you know, it's not... Keep that door closed. Oh, yeah, don't let Charlie out of the place. Bird brought more people. Bird brought a crab. The studio's a mess? I think it's fine. I think it's just fine. I think the studio's just fine. You guys want to say hi on TV? There's a crowd here. Did you have any more news about you moving, Lewis? Are you still... Oh, um, end of next month. I don't know exactly month, huh? when. May, I might wait till the very end, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, you wanna? You're off the screen. Have you? Hello, everybody. Hey, you? Can they hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 How, 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 who are you? Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? I'm point. Ryan Canning. Have you ever been on TV before? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, why? I was on an episode of Friday Night Lights as an extra. Whoa, what's, what's, is that the football show? Yeah, I'm on the episode called The Toilet Bowl. Uh-huh. They go to, like, Chicago or something to look at colleges, and I'm, like, sitting in front of the lead actress. It's like, I was in it a bunch of times, but that's, like, the only time you can really see my face for, like, yeah. 20 seconds or something. Wait, right. where, where do they film that? Uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, right, right in the front, though, huh? Yeah, yeah, I was right, right in the screen. It's crazy. How about you? You ever been on TV? Hey, uh, no, I've never been on television. No? Yeah. Not even on the nah, news. Zero. Uh, now nah, you come see me on the news. Not yet. <laughs> you plan on being on the news then? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you, see, you see anything on the streets? 
on the street. Oh, hey, it's info time. You guys want to read this? Or maybe Lewis wants to read it? Oh, yeah, God. I want to read it. <laughs> Uh, it's info time! Info time. Here are some answers on frequently asked questions about the program. You're watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with Me. It's a call-in television talk show that's filmed right here in Thurston County every day. Seven days a week, 36 days a year. It airs every night at 11, 3 p.m. on TCPM. Slot me to each episode. It airs a week after it was taped. So if you're watching at 11, 3 p.m., this episode is the same weekday of the previous week. If you are watching at 2 a.m., this episode takes the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can be on the program, especially you. YDHWM relies on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-3484 and leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thank you for watching, and now back to the program. Thank you for watching. The, the trick is the bottom line is the fastest and then it gets slower as you yeah. go up. I, Until the very end, which everything goes fast. Everything goes fast. You guys see anything on the streets? Like any any accidents or maybe uh, birds and flowers, which is valid, I guess. Or like crazy people or uh, cracks. Cracks in the pavement. Uh, just things on the street. Rocks. I heard there was a, a string tied from uh, the west side to the east side. So oh, watch oh. out, you could, tri you could trip, you could catch your face on it. A tide? You could, yeah, it could catch you in the eye. What's the tide? What's it tied to? What are you saying? <laughs> to there was a single string tied from the east side to the west side connecting somebody, them. Somebody did that? I think it might be two tin cans tied together. I don't know what else it would be for. It's, and somebody, tried to, somebody did that and they, they successfully got their, their cans all the way around? Or? Uh, I mean, it could be a clothesline. Or, uh, maybe it's like two people, like like someone is afraid of losing their kid and they tie the string on their finger. I don't know. Are you, are you for real? Or? <laughs> I am a real human being. You're a real person, but, I mean, is a string thing, is that real? Uh, I haven't seen it, but uh, I heard about it. you heard about it? Is it a rumor, at least? I mean, I, I believe it's real. It's got, like, gossip, maybe. I heard it got cut. You, you're going to have to go investigate for yourself. Yeah, I got cut. <laughs> See, who told me about it? You're the one who told him about it? After it got cut. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, and it's kind of like the, the movie The Princess and the Goblin. She has the invisible string that guides her through the maze or whatever. But also, this is like, it doesn't seem feasible that the string would just be on the ground and then it would probably break from cars running over it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't see it happening unless it's a really, really long string. Well, I guess like power lines and stuff, you know, they go everywhere and underground cables. Yeah, you like, should oh, oh, just oh, yeah. on a power right. line. Did you kick him? Yeah. He's mad. He's trying to eat food. Try it. Stay out of there. Charlie's in the food zone, look out. Charlie, he's in the food zone. He's gonna... Did Charlie bite you? He bit his foot. He bit his foot. He looked like he mauled your leg. That's his corner. You bit his foot. He, whoa! Oh, oh Charlie. man, he's, Charlie's attacking. Charlie, come here. Yeah, call him over there. Call him over there. Here, here. Here, get the... Hold the entice him with this. Look, Charlie. Look, Charlie. Uh, I think Charlie's gonna be okay. He's got some food over there. He sees food. Yeah, now he's mad. He'll be okay. Uh, you can give him one of those peanuts, I guess, or something, you can look at. Uh, how about the news? Yeah. About the news, you guys know about Turkey? Apparently, there's some uprisings in Turkey. Have you guys heard anything about that? No, I don't. Well, uh, yeah, Turkey. And uprisings. Well, how about tornadoes? Have you, have you guys ever been to... Is it, is it uprising, like, where it goes bad, or...? Uh, the opposite of that. I, I mean, it's kind of going. It depends on what you mean by bad, but there's a the, there's civil unrest. Because usually it like goes south if it's going bad. So is an uprising going north, going up? I think I'm confused. What we're talking about? Yeah, I don't know the origins of the phrase. Yeah, what? Someone wants to know what you usually talk about. What do we usually talk about? Who's saying you you want to know about that? You want to ask us on the show though? What about a downrising? Is a downrising yeah. possible? About what? A, a downrising. Downrising. 
Yeah, then I would then I would not eat it. I'd be afraid of E. coli or something if there's a turkey down rising. Yeah. Salmonella. I'd like to know what you usually discuss on this program. Yeah. It's hard to have when there's so many people on there, and then it's hard to stay focused because we kind of have to have one conversation as an entire people. Because if there's more people talking in the one mics, and with the group, big groups like this, it gets it gets to the point where you want to talk to each other, but you get to you can do that over there. Talk over there. The microphone. Yeah. Um. Why don't we usually talk about whatever is happening though? The news in the streets, and if anybody's been on TV, that's the first thing we ask, and then after that, uh, we kind of just. I mean, we, we are on so much that we kind of have run out of things to do, and so we just kind of got to do new stuff, I guess, because we're trying to. There's a band happening upstairs. Are you guys the band, or, or uh, did you, Fred, did you already the band. Yeah, we just, my name is Fred, and we, and we just played a show upstairs, and this is... I, I'm Matt. I'm Matt. Oh, um, there's somebody new to you. Have you, have you been on TV before? I've never been on no, I've never been on TV before. Have you ever seen Friday Night Lights? Friday Night Lights? Yes. You mean like on Friday, like oh, look at the Charlie, lights? Charlie, yeah. Charlie, get out of here. Charlie, go over there. Charlie. I'm gonna take you to the walk. Yeah, you can take Charlie. Charlie. Go over there, Charlie. Whoa, Charlie's riled up. Um, too many people are getting into a set. Oh, Charlie, go with Bert. Go with Bert. Talk about drugs on this program. Oh yeah, you're in the right spot, maybe that's how he's mad. Charlie, go over there, go with Bird. Oh, Charlie. Charlie, go with Bird. Go with Bird. <laughs> Charlie. Oh, you wanna come on the couch? Hey, Charlie. Hey. Uh, he's stealing the show. Yeah. He's stealing the show. Maybe he wants a, he wants a, a bite of the phone. Uh, so, uh, nobody, uh, everybody here, anybody see stuff on the streets? You guys are, are you guys on the uh, road? No, no, we, we, uh, I live in India, and uh, Matt lives in now in the Bay Area, and we practice whenever we see each other, and then play. <laughs> we travel really far just to play with each other, it's, it's quite romantic. Girls in love has been in the band. <laughs> girls in love! Go, 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 go. Girls in love! Yeah. Are you, uh, but none of you are girls. No. No. Are you in love? No. Neither. <laughs> it's for... Yeah, I'm in love with a girl. It, it's been uh, I'm in love with a girl. Who are you in love with, Matt? One of the artists that showed upstairs. Oh, good. What, what's her name? Mar Marguerite Calhoun. She's pretty cool. Yeah. She <laughs> Yeah. Did, did you see? You didn't see anything on the streets on the on the way from the Bay Area to up here? On the on the streets? Yeah. No, I took the. the about the train? Uh, did you take a plane? No, no, I took the train up here. Um. And is this really a microphone? It it is. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. We're not tricking you. <laughs> is, it, is it on now? Is it on a mix? Is it? Make sure that's on. Oh oh oh! Oh yeah, it's on. It's on. Um, That's rad. Yeah. I like that thing. Yeah, I took the train up here. It was pretty grueling. <laughs> how, how long did I... I've, I've ridden the train from San Francisco to Olympia before. Yeah. It, I guess it's not that bad. It was like 23 hours. That's a long there. time, though. Did you, get, did you get a sleeping cart? No, I didn't. I rode on coach, and then I tried to sleep, but it was like... It was crazy. Because the seats are really small for... I'm six foot two and a half. Yeah. The seats are too small for that. Did they show a movie? Did you get to watch a movie? I didn't watch a movie. I read... I played a, a game book, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, uh, yeah, on, on, on yeah. your phone or something? What? what? On a phone? No, yeah. on a, like an actual game book that was like I bought oh, at the thrift store. Because huh? these guys are doing storytelling, and I was like super excited. And I was like, yes, I'm going to play D&D on the way up there to see them. Yeah! Yeah. I went on, what a, do you do? I, I went on that train, but it was a long time ago. It was, uh, <laughs> the band's loud. It was a really long... Wow, down the house. It was... Bring down the house. Wait. <laughs> yeah, never did a stomping dance. It was a, a long time ago, and I watched uh, the same. I think they played the recess movie, and I watched it like five times in a row. He says this. Yeah, the movie, recess cartoon movie. They played it all, all on repeat. I just watched it a bunch of times in a row because I didn't have anything else to do. Yeah. 
What do you what do you think of what do you, what do you think about the G.I. Joe animated movie? Yeah. I, I don't remember it. It's got some life lessons. It's got deep life lessons. In there. I think all this one I've I saw it's the show. There's some loud music. Transform. You can do it if you want. Uh, um, hey, look at that. Time for the next dice game. Well, uh, we're going to get out of 10 here. We have this pen. We're going to write a number on our hands. Two point six for everybody else that hasn't written a number yet. So you guys can write a number. Pick a number one through six. I, me and Carl already have them. On the back of the hand? On, uh, anywhere, uh, anywhere on your hand, as long as it's written down. Yeah. Between what? One well, and between six. Between one and six, like a dice. One and six. Like a dice. Six-sided dice. Yeah. We rolled two dice now. Yeah. yeah, write it on your hand. What? Write a number on your hand between one and six. I wrote seven. Oh. That's that's wrong. <laughs> you cannot win. <laughs> you will lose. <laughs> you can write other numbers, but you won't win with them. Wait, okay. Zero percent chance. You might want to. Yeah, you might want to re rewrite your number. You should have a chance before we re roll it. You could easily turn a seven into a four. Or a three. Or a one. I got a one. I got All a right. Four. Well, yeah. Charlie gets a three. Bird, you need a number. Bird doesn't want to play. Okay. Here we go. Uh, you want a number? Three. Two, what are we winning as a prize in itself? Three. It's on Team Charlie. Can we win together? Here we go. Uh, two and four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're up, Kenny. I got two. It's six. Anybody have fours? Because fours are already there from before two. So before four twos, the numbers are now. Me and Lewis are have fours. Anybody else? Fours? I got a five. 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 Yeah, I, I have thing? four. Oh, where's the thing? Did you see that? Number one. Number one. There it is. All right. Well, maybe we should call Freddy the producer. There's so many people here, though. Uh, you guys, anybody? No news? Or talk about the program. Usually call talk about the program? Yeah, but this is only golf calls at the end. Yeah. What about, you guys, nobody else saw, saw any news or, t or uh, street stuff? Out of everybody? Huh? Helicopters in the sky. Is that the street? Recently? I feel like a lot more recently, yeah. I thought Bert, Bert talks about it all the time. I don't know That's if Olympia has an anti-drone policy or not, but we should start. Do you think that they're, they're, they're trying to watch us? The, or like helicopters? Oh yeah, you want to get the... You want to be off camera on purpose? I don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bert, you can, you can show her if you want, I guess. Uh, you think that the, those the, the helicopters? What do you think they mean? Are you watch? Do you like notice them? I just think that they're over the over um, Olympia more, and I want Olympia to have an anti-drone policy. Anti-drug? Drone. Drone? Oh, what's we're that? We're talking about uprisings, and um, I don't know about what's going on in Turkey recently. Like unmanned helicopters, but all, those helicopters have those are pilots, exactly, right? Well. I would like Olympia to not have to have an anti policy before it happens. Uh, before it's using your show for a platform. Preventative, that's okay, yeah. You think that that's gonna happen, maybe? That we're gonna start getting spied on by drone vehicles? Uh, well that's a good question. We already are because we already are being spied. To call in with yeah, you, you can call that number, it's up there. It's eight three six zero eight three six four three eight four, call that number and you can tell us if you think that we're being Spied on by drones. I I I'm pretty. I feel confident that we are not being spied on by drones, but I could be wrong. Yeah, you have a drone you have a Not spied on. <laughs> Something. Well, do you, I mean, do you personally do you think you're being spied on? Because I don't doubt that they're spying on somebody with the drones, but maybe it's not me because I don't really do anything interesting. Yeah. I just watch television. Yeah, you know the people who are I think they're like oh, I don't know I guess TV people. Yeah. But like they're like, oh, the CIA is watching me, you know? Yeah, but you gotta wear that tinfoil hat. Yeah, anybody wearing those tinfoil hats, are they gonna do that? <laughs> are they gonna, if you're wearing a tinfoil hat, I think the, the FBI will leave you alone. <laughs> hey, look, it's like more people, it's a party today. Uh, it's more, it's. Come on in. Yes, they're rotating people. Wow. Look how Charlie is riled up right now though, don't get in his face. 
Musical chairs, musical chairs, wow, musical wow, chairs, wow. musical chairs, musical chairs, musical chairs. Whoa. How's, how's it going? Uh, hey, what happened, Bird? You messed it up the camera? Yeah. Uh, I gotta go fix the camera. You guys talk about something. I'm gonna go try to fix it. Or yeah, that's the like down 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 down. Down. All right. Where's the phone? The, well, you have it. Where it is. Messing with the camera. Static. Darkness. Darkness. Deep space. Oh, I sound like Dan Bennett. Oh, that's fine. I don't have anything to say. I don't know what they're saying. Continuing mission. To seek out new worlds and explore strange new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has she gone be on the right before. Button. All right, I said the whole Star Trek thing. Somebody else should talk now. Maybe I can. I can keep talking about Star Trek, but you know. <laughs> oh, it's on now. Yeah. I think I'm on camera, but I can't see the screen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey. All these people who are in have you ever been on television before? No. Wait, yeah. Oh, that one is too. Wait, you were on TV. There I was on TV once at like 5.30 in the morning. Oh, you have to talk into the mic. I was on TV once at 5.30 in the morning oh. for a pancake breakfast at a church. Oh, wow. Everyone, there, you're off the air. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're all on now. Oh, wait, just, just hold it. No, yeah. I'm done. That's it. Oh, okay. Anybody else? Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, anybody? I was once on the BBC at, wow. at a protest in Washington, D.C., and I was totally fucking high. It was terrible. Oh, wow. Well, that wasn't terrible, but it was like... No, no, I was high. I was completely stormed out of my gourd, and I was 20 years old. Did they know? Um, I think so. I think they were playing with me. Or did you, I mean, maybe you just thought they knew because you're like, oh, Because I was high. paranoid and high. Yeah. Well, it was a protest on April 20th, so I figured it was the thing to do. You think, but do you, do you still think that afterwards, in hindsight? Yeah, yeah, it was a great oh, experience. Are you happy with it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Then good, good. It's great. The guy who gave me the weed had, like, legalized it pins, like, for 40 years worth of his actions. It was amazing. Wow. He really wanted to legalize it then. Yeah, I, that was one of the times I was on TV. Did he move to Washington? What? Over there. Here, Ben, when were you on TV? When was I on TV? I already told this story on this show. I've been on TV a bunch of times. Yeah, I've been on it so many times. I've been on this show like twice. It's true. Anybody want a chair back there? Anybody want a chair back there? Yeah. Anybody want? How about, about a chair back there? How about anything? Is everybody from town? Or do you guys been traveling? How about Turkey? Anybody know details about Turkey? No. I, I was on TV once before. Oh, for what? I was in Lake Fair. I've been in Lake Fair many a time as a child. Did you on TV for it, though? <laughs> What's that? Why, why were you on TV at Lake Fair? Lake, I think they film it. On the... On Lake Fair. On the news? Uh, well, it's not really newsworthy. It, well, but they just film it, anyways. Was it on TCTV? I believe so, yes. Oh, okay, that's good. We're, we're getting close to the commercial break, and we're gonna, it's going to happen soon. Well, yeah, we're gonna get into the commercial break. Uh, maybe when we get back, we'll call some McDonald's. Anybody, you guys like McDonald's? Everybody, as a group? No. No. <laughs> Why not, no. everybody? Well, everybody, cause it's fake. Cause it's fake. Um, 
Alright. Because when, oh, because no, um, when the french fries get cold, then they're inedible, and I feel like Six, five, four, three, two, Hey, it's time for commercial break. Oh, More about this after. <laughs> now it's time for a commercial break. Live TV dance party. First Friday of each month. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A. 440 Yager Way. Oh, yeah. with Charlie and John and someone named Carl. Who is this character named Carl? How do we get so delicious? We're here every uh, day. I dip you in chocolate and you get delicious, yeah. I think. I don't know. It's Fresh Sunday with John. Guaranteed. <laughs> what? <laughs> we do that stuff every day at 11.30 until a.m. You can check out the thing on TCTV channel 22. We call it Santa Claus Lane in Alaska. The at North, North Pole. Pole. At the North Pole. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hey, we're back. This, uh, might be, this might be the most people we are. Oh, can be a TCTV. This is probably the most people around in this studio for sure. There's a, a big party upstairs. You can maybe you yeah. can hear the band. I don't know if you guys can hear the band. Uh, you want to do that? I think. I mean, I think it's pretty loud. I think it's gonna be. Yeah. Let me put it up by the ducts here. All right. <laughs> I think it's just gonna be. I think it's just gonna be picking up. Is it working? I think the duck's over here, isn't it? This one over there. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, let's call Freddie, the producer. We'll see how the production end is going here. <laughs> oh, hey, Charlie. Here we go. It got unplugged. It got unplugged? Uh-oh. What's it? <laughs> back, back there, can you look at the, is, it, is that outlet plugged in? <laughs> we're going to try to call Freddy the producer, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to hear him. It's all that I've worked. It was working at some point, maybe it stopped. Is it plugged in now? There's two things plugged in. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, there yep. it is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, the band stopped playing. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Saying, can you get your head up to the TV? I can't really hear you too well. There's a lot of band happening. I said I'm driving in the car. <laughs> people, people are stopping. <laughs> on the other floor. What? How's it going down at the studio? How's it going down at the studio? Oh, that's good. There's a lot of people here. How many people are there? One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. There's like ten people, people here. Yeah, is that, that, is that counting the people who came in last? No, there's even more. There was even more. 
The guy that I'm working in shifts. <laughs> How's that production end going there? Uh, uh, I can't really hear you guys at all. Oh, uh, there's also a band upstairs. How's yep. the production end going? Oh, production end is going just fine. Um, we're right on track. We already got yesterday's episode captured and uh, we're scheduled out on the TV for a while. Um, the West production end news has been bad. Well, I mean, we got, oh yeah, this is the, the beginning of June. It's June 1st, that's the last, yep. the first day of the last month of this first half of the year, so. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the second half of the year. Exciting. Uh, Halfway through uh, the year. Shit. Shit. I'm uh, happy to have this program. I guess it's a new day. Um, <laughs> yep. All right. What, what's going on? Oh, there's crazy. There's so many people here. Hey, crazy. There's so many people here. Oh, yeah. Who's making the, who's making the, the who's making the noise? That, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you, you're the one that's doing it. Everybody else is like, trying to make up Yeah, I'm, I'm making the most noise. What? Bert's trying to talk to us off the mic so I can't hear what saying. I can't hear anything. I don't know. It's going pretty crazy down there. There's so many people. Um, I, did, I guess we'll keep it to talking to these people. It, today's episode is episode number 987. Oh, yeah! Wow. That's like the opposite of 187. Yeah. That's like when you bring someone back to really? life. When you bring somebody back really? to life. Bert says it's the opposite of 187. I don't know what that is. Yeah, 187. 187 on the mother. Yeah, you know, that's yeah, what I know. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> you got a 187 on the mother of cops. 1790. There. Yeah, just add 800s on 187 and you get a, a new. What, what song is that? I don't even. Is that NWA? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's in like a bunch of Maybe. rap songs. Oh, okay. Also, I think the title of a movie. At least one movie. Yeah. Please cut for murder. Okay. Uh, great. Anybody see anything on the news? You guys back there? I don't know if I asked you that. There's lots of new people here. So I'm passing but around. What's happening in Turkey? Yeah, the Turkey stuff. Turkey one news, but oh, look out for the dog. The dog's gonna want to get out. Don't let the dog out, please. We can't hear. Do let the dogs let out. The dog out. Is this the band that's been playing? Yeah, just, just Oh, now he's coming down here. He was just. We were. Uh, we were just listening to you playing on the show. We could probably hear a lot of it. You. Uh, where's the, the last one? Some, yeah, some, yeah, let's give that guy a... Here, here. Let's switch. I'm gonna switch places. Oh, yeah. uh, we were... Yeah. You can handle... Yeah. We were we were listening to you play from down here. Maybe we got on the show a little bit. I'm not sure how much I picked it up. Yeah. How you guys doing? Good, how are you doing? good. That was some good organ playing. I could hear it. Oh, thanks, man. Have, have you ever been on TV yeah, before? Yeah, nice job. Could you hear him, Freddy? <laughs> no, I just like to give people, you know, genuine compliments. But, uh, I trust you guys to judgment there on the couch. So I That's know good. Gonna Freddy's on the phone. Oh, whoa, we're buzzing, we're buzzing. Oh, there it goes, okay. Oh, no. I can hardly hear you guys either. So I, I think we're just, uh, I think I'm going uh, to make well, let you go, maybe. All right, thanks, Freddy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, wow. that's it. Okay, bye. Have a great time. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. What's, what's your band? Our band's name is What's Your Face. Can, can you talk into it? Oh, this thing? Like yeah, this? like that, yeah, like that. Oh, dear. Our band's name is What's Your Face. That's a fun name. We, it's, uh, keys, and we got flutes, and Whoa. some bass, and some drums, but no guitars. Oh, no good. I heard some stomping, real hard stomping. Was that? That, that happens sometimes. Was that you guys too, or was <laughs> that, that the crowd? That was might may have been me. Sometimes I do this. Yeah, that was probably what it was. Oh, watch out for the dog! Charlie, come here. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. 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 So what's the guy's name? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm Rick Lewis. Yeah, I'm Lewis. Oh, that's Carl. Carl. There's Carl. Everybody back there. That's Back there, no name people, or no mic people anyway, at least. 
Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. Hey, how's it going, man? Um, you? I'm Hannah. Stumble across. Hi, this is Robert. Hi. Hey, it's hey. time for the next dice game. Oh, shit. You want to get a number? Nice. Uh, yeah? I have the head on. You want a number? <laughs> you want to get a number? Yeah, you have that? Oh, yeah, I'll take uh, the number eight. No, it's one through six. Oh, it's the dice game. Yeah, one through six. Okay, give me I'm going to uh, keep my four. number. Four? Oh, good choice. Oh, yeah. Okay. What do we win? Uh, winning is a prize in itself. Um, four. Oh, four, five, two, oh, we won. Five, I got five. I got five. Four, five, 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 Cool. Okay, well, uh, so wait, it's so, time for a battle. Uh, what do you guys want, though? I, I want five and six. <laughs> what do you want, one and two or three and four? Three and four. Three and four, all right. So it's so, three, well, four, one, two, five, six. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, oh, yeah. So <laughs> I have five and six, and he has one and two. And I already forgot your name. Tyler. Right? Tyler uh, is three and four. There it is. Oh, wait, I'm... Oh, okay, one. I won even though I didn't uh, choose, I wanted to share. But I'm a five. I wanted to share, but now I won. Five. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. Five. I, don't, I didn't... Five. Now I can share. Five. I can't share. Now it's too late. Now Seven I won. Half with one I already won, and I don't... I, I would have shared, but uh, I won. So... Yeah. Well, for a while, every time I would battle, I would win, but then I haven't battled in a while, so I, I lost my streak. Yeah, maybe yeah, we should we should just all go. There's a lot of people, right. like a bunch of people waving in this episode. Hi, Louis. Oh, we should call uh, John. We should call John Farinelli too. He's supposed to be here tomorrow, so let's call John first to get someone to call me at McDonald's too. Or you guys don't like McDonald's? I already asked everybody, but everybody said no. Yeah, I think most of the people no. said they didn't like it left. I like, uh, what about Mexican food? Burritos. I like burritos. What, do you, what kind of burritos do you eat? Sorry. Uh, chicken, bean, rice, from cheese. Home? From home? From yeah, I anywhere I can get it, yeah. I go to the taco truck. I like taco truck. I like the, there's a taco truck on Harrison. Yeah. By the, there's a really good Chinese food store there too. Yeah, I know that taco truck. There's a really good Chinese food store there too. We got fried sesame buns. Fried squid. They have some good dried squid there too. Well, hi, Gamble. Thank you for calling me. You've reached the phone number of John Farinelli. And if you're fine with me, you should just go ahead and leave me a message and I will give you a call back when I get the cheese. Yeah, it's nice. Nice. nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Having me on the show. Hey, good, good music. Really nice. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Who are we calling? Uh, John. Hey, John. We're leaving you a message. You're scheduled for the program tomorrow. Uh, I'm. I want to do it in the evening. You can call me back. Looks like the comics festival was was today maybe the viewers went to that the, the comic festival yeah it was oh, today for I next forgot. today next really? week anyway really? uh, it's in a week for us for the, when this episode will Here. air it'll have already happened for the viewers there you go do you pull that prank on you guests on the show a lot it's not a prank <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just the way it's scheduled <laughs> it's not really a prank <laughs> it's just that I mean, we're 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 kind of mean though to do that Oh, I guess the the, well, cause the way Kenny said it, it seemed like he was like trying to play a trick, like oh, it's today next week. It's all yeah. I don't. So is this a prank right now? Is this? It's it, it not a prank. I'm trying. This is a hidden camera show. This is a good prank. <laughs> you're, you're, you guys we, are we funny. Have your, uh, we're not even on TV. Yeah, we have your relatives behind the door. Daily prank. Your, we have your. Uh, That's me. X X behind the door. They're going to come out and, uh, you know, bring a baby to think that you're the father. 
Is, it, is this a prank? No, it's not. A, it's, it's not a prank. I'm, I'm, it's, 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 it's generally less, less humorous than people try to make it. I think. Uh. All right. Well, let's call some McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah, we'll call uh, McDonald's in, well, I guess Hawaii. It's kind of late at night, so. Yeah, oh, Kyle's going to fix the camera again. In Hawaii? We're going to go back to where, yeah, in Hawaii. It's two hours behind us. Are we going to order a, a Big Mac? I usually just ask them about their menu items. Or a Whopper. I don't want them, uh, it, would, it would be a Big Mac. I don't want to um, order anything because I don't want them to make food that they're going to throw away, I guess. Or there, but they probably throw it away anyway. So, wait, is, it, is this a prank? <laughs> What? What's the prank? <laughs> 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 uh, it's not really a prank call. I'm just gonna ask them what they have. There's no like punchline either. Don't they have like a secret menu for like the McDonald's that McDonald's or like? Like every place has like a secret menu. In and Out Burger maybe. You should ask what's on their secret. Well, menu. they have the 99 cent. Menu. You're getting back in. It's their version. For for things little that, people. Things that people order, but it's not really on the menu. But oh yeah, well you can just make it. Sorry. With like sides and stuff. I think barbecue sauce is on the secret menu. I think they're like really expensive. Uh, the secret like stuff, 50 yeah. Dollars. Not the value item. The, the gold medal sandwich. Yeah. Oh. Platinum arches. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Hey, we're calling the McDonald's in Hawaii. This is McDonald's in Hawaii. Really? Yes. Hey, McDonald's. Hey, have you guys? Do you guys have the s'mores pies right now? I'm calling. Do you have the, the s'mores pies, like the taco original pies yet? Oh, I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. Oh. Do you, you guys have... Are you uh, hello? Can you hear it again? Can you hear me now? I'm sorry, say it again. <laughs> Do you guys have the s'mores pies right now? I'm sorry? Yes. Do you guys have the s'mores pies like chocolate marshmallow yet? Quarter pounder? S'mores pies. Got a Honda. Honda? Hello? What do you think? Anything Honda? Quarter, pound, uh, quarter pounder? Sorry, oh, that's start tomorrow. The quarter pounder deluxe. Quarter pounder deluxe? Yeah. What's on it? It starts tomorrow, sir. What's, what's on it? Why is it deluxe? Like that? Why is it deluxe? Yeah, that's how I do, um, that's how. Oh, great, thank you. Yeah, okay. Have a nice day. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> hey, look, it's one minute left. We made it all the way through another show. Thanks, everybody, for coming on. Are you guys uh, local? Because you can come back. Uh, yeah. You guys want to come local. back in the future? You can get on the yeah. calendar. Is this where it's always aired? It is. Right it is, right here. In the secret location? In the secret location. You can, um, <laughs> well, if you guys want to find out the location, you just got to call that number. And it's, it, it's pretty serious, I think, I would say, I guess. Mm, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I guess okay. it's, it's easy going, but, you know, it's, serious in it's a sense. It's a thing that exists, definitely, and it's not fake. It's a real thing. Yeah, this is not a, a joke. Uh, it's some kind of large, crazy joke. This is just this a, guy. a calendar you handed me. It is a, yeah, you can sign yeah, up. You can pick a day. You can sign That's up for This is nobody's schedule, really. That's last month. Okay, well then you're never gonna come on this show. That's in the past. Thanks, computers. <laughs> Thanks to Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. Thanks, phones. Okay. Thanks, crew. You guys wanna be on the crew? You don't have to do anything. I think some of you are on the crew. Rob, Robert, he's on the crew. Thanks, Crystal Ball. Yeah. Thanks, Thurston County Community Television. Thanks, Gerardo E. Thanks, LaBaby.com. Check it out. Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Uh, what's good? Hell yeah. Oh, viewers. Thanks, viewers. That's you. You're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Bye. You want, you want the mic to go out?